Praise the Lord everyone. Welcome to our Sunday School Online. Today here with me, I have teacher Anjani and Hello, teacher kids. Hi. Okay, before we start, let's all pray. Okay, let's close our eyes and put our hands together. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your name this afternoon, Lord. We thank you for all the blessings that you have given us. I commit this Sunday School program into your hand, Lord, as we uh, teach our love to the children, Father. Bless us, Father, and guide us, Father. And Father, the people that are watching us, the kids that are watching us, be blessed in the name of Jesus, I pray and ask. Amen. 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 Okay, everybody. Uh, hope you all remember what you learned last week. Yes. yes. It was about... Cain and Abel. Yes, Cain and Abel. They were sons of Adam, Adam and Eve. Eve. Yes. And who was the eldest? Um, Cain. Cain. Okay. <laughs> let's, all, let's all watch the videos you have sent us. So today my memory verse is Genesis 4-7. If you make good choice, I will accept you. Genesis 4-7. If you make good choices, I will accept you. Hello, my name is Moses. Today is our memory verse. Genesis 4-7. If you make good choice, I will accept you. Come along kids, let's sing some songs. So first song that you're going to sing <clears throat> is It's no longer I that liveth, but who? Christ, Christ, liveth, Christ in liveth in me, okay? Yes. yes. Okay. It's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. It's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. He lives, he lives. Jesus is alive in me. It's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. It's no longer, it's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. It's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. He lives, he lives. Jesus is alive in me, it's no longer I that liveth, but Christ that liveth in me. Amen. Such a wonderful song. Amen. Yes. It's Christ that liveth in our lives. Yes. Amen. Alright, so the next song that we're going to sing is, The wise man build his house upon the rock. rock. Right. The wise man build his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down as the floods came up. The rain came down as the floods came up. The rain came down as the floods came up. And the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. And the rain came tumbling down. The rain came down as the floods came up. The rain came down as the floods came up. The rain came down as the floods came up. And the house on the sand got smashed. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ. And the blessings will come down. The blessings will come down as the praise goes up. The blessings will come down as the praise goes up. The blessings will come down as the praise goes up. So build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So why don't you build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ today. Amen. And the blessings will come down. The Lord will bless you. And your life will be firm. firm. Amen. Yes. So everyone, today we're going to learn a story from the Bible. Let's open our Bibles to Genesis chapter 2. 11. Yes. So this story is about the Tower of Babel. Yes. Babel. Yes. 
So okay. at first, at first we all used to speak the same language. Yes. Yeah? So we all understood what was, what we all can speak. Like today we don't understand what we, our other country or any other people yes. from any other place, we don't understand, right? Yes. So this story is about how we today have different languages. Languages. Where all these languages Came were, from. yes, initially started. So it was from Genesis, chapter, right, 11. chapter 11. Okay. Yes. So here was this king named Nomad, right? Mm -hmm. And he wanted to become famous. So what he did, he collected his people. He yes. collected everyone and told them that, come on, let's build this tower. Oh. And this tower should reach, reach the, the sky. sky. Yes. Yes. Sky. So that, yes. So that everyone can see this tower and say, oh, King Nomad and his people has built the famous tower in the earth. Right, wow. yeah, as you can see now the people are building the tower, they are all very happy and that they were speaking all the same language, they understood and were very um, um, very helpful to each other because they all knew what they were talking about, right, okay, so then this pride started developing in their hearts, in their lives, in their minds, where their focus was only on the this Tower. tower, yes, to this the tower sky. of Babel to reach the sky, and yes. they, all that they were saying was, "Oh, we are going to be famous. famous. We are going to be famous. Our king is going to be famous, and our land is going to be famous." So no. this pride was developing in their hearts, and they were turning away from God. Yes. Yes. Okay. And what happens in chapter in verse five? Then the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which those men had built yeah. and he said now then these are all one people and they speak one language mm -hmm. right so the Lord was a bit disheartened to see their focus just only on that tower right yes. so what did the Lord do right mm -hmm. in chapter in verse 7 he said, let's go down and mix up their language. Yes. Okay. So that they may not understand one mm. another. Yes. Oh. So why did the Lord do this? The Lord did this so that people's focus can turn again to God. And basically so that they don't understand each other anymore. And confusion builds within them. Correct? Yes. yes, and he so that the people can get more scattered. Yes, and get like they they should. The main thing was to stop building this tower. Yes, and, and bring back the focus they, to God. Right. Yes, and remove that pride that they were having because of this tower. Yes. So what happens then? You can see that people are. Mm -hmm. Unable to understand yeah, what they're feeling confused. Yeah, they are unable to talk to each other. Mm. Just like when we talk to other people of right? other languages, other countries. We don't understand. We don't understand. So that's what actually happened. Yes. They were not able to understand. talk, understand, mm. or share their words mm. to build this tower. Yes. And at the end, they all mm. get separated. Yeah. It all went their own way. Own way, yeah. And the tower was incomplete. Incomplete. Yeah. The tower didn't get completed, and the and the people <clears throat> all went their own ways. Went, took their cattle, took their whatever livestock they had, and they started going to other lands. Oh. Yeah. So nobody understood the language anymore because all the languages were now very different from what they spoke. So now what God's intention was to do was to remove that pride yes. right just as in our lives sometimes we have pride and God tries to remind us that pride is not good and that we our focus should be only on the Lord Jesus Christ yes. amen amen, amen. Yes. amen. okay so we'll now do one small activity yes and learn our Memory, Memory verse. verse. And it's from the book of Leviticus, chapter 22, verse 31. Yes. And it says, 
keep my commandments and follow them. I am the Lord. Yes. Keep my commands and follow them. I am the Lord. That's what yes. the Lord has commanded us to do. Yes. Right, kids. So we'll just have a small activity now. We'll be we'll be making a big long tower. Hmm. Just like, like in the story that we learned. Yes. The Tower of Babel. Right. So if you have a piece of paper, we require a piece of paper, a scissors. Be careful with the scissors. Yep. A glue or cello tape will do. And Maybe a pen a or pen. a marker and a ruler. Yes. Okay. Right, kids. So this is a piece of paper, and we'll. I've already made few lines. We're gonna make few more lines. Okay. And then we can do something like this. So make we're making these here. lines. Just and few here. Mm. Yeah. Just to give our tower a bit of bricks view and uh, to make it look like a brick tower. Okay. Yes, you can use any color you like. And so, you can color those bricks as well. Okay, you can continue with some more. And then you roll. Take a corner. And make a roll. Yes. Try to make it into a cone, okay? Once it's in a cone, make it a bit bigger. Right. right. Then you can take a scissors and cut this part. Yes. So right. that the edge at the bottom can be labeled, okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. And if you have a glue, you can put glue over here. And basically your tower Double should be looking like yes. this. Yes. Like a big one we already have over here. Right? Yeah. This is the one we already made. But this one, we just we're trying to make it with you. So this is the tower. A small tower. <laughs> and what will we do? We'll write a memory verse on a piece of paper. paper. Get a piece on of paper, a, piece a long of, piece of paper probably. Yeah. Just a strip of paper. Right, just like what we have written over here. Yes. Right, kids. This is what we have written. It says Leviticus chapter twenty-two, verse thirty-one. Keep my commands and follow, follow them. them. I am the Lord. Yes. So this is the tower that the people created. Mm -hmm. And what will we do? We'll yeah, we'll stick it around the tower to make it a bit creative. Okay. Right, so we go down like that, and like that, and like that, so it can become like a step to go up the tower, since it's a very long tower. Alright, set. So something like that, okay? Yes. Written your memory verse on the strip of paper, and wrap it around the tower. So, kids, like you have seen, this is... Basically, the pride of the people, the tower we have, mm. the people we're creating. Yes. And we have rounded the whole tower with the memory verse, memory like verse. the Lord said, keep yes. my commands mm -hmm. and follow them. Follow them yes. So that's what we have learned in our from story today. Yes. yes. Okay, yes, we have learned from the Bible today on being obedient and following His commands and being humble. Okay, so everyone will just have a short prayer and ask you to repeat after me. Let's all join our hands and close our eyes. Dear Lord, Dear Lord, I know I'm a sinner. I know I'm a sinner. And I believe that you and I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Died on the cross for my sins. Right now. Right now. I open my heart. I open my heart. And I ask your forgiveness. And I ask for forgiveness. And, and please help me. Please help me to practice what I have learned today. To practice what, what I, I have learned today. today. And be and, humble. And be humble. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right. Wow. That was a good prayer. Okay, everyone. Uh, that's all for today. Yes. So do send in your videos. Okay, with the art and craft and with the memory verse. 
and tell us how and what you have learned in this program okay so until then see you next time bye, bye.